All right. <laughs> we just got back from Lowe's. We got some materials over here. Plywood. And some other pieces of wood. Two by twos, two by four. And uh, we're going to take this front decking out where the seat is. And we're going to take this out. Oh, we got treated plywood, half inch, and we got treated uh, two by fours and two by twos. We're going to pull this out, make it a little bit longer, have it a little bit lower in the boat, right around here. That way it's a little more stable, a little more sturdy, <laughs> and it's easier for the individual who wants to sit up here. They don't have to crawl. And you want to give them an example, Matt? Go ahead and show them how it's done, <laughs> buddy. You'll have to remember that this is all while on the water. So it's a little sta more stable now. And Matt has no sea legs. And my balance is absolutely terrible. So while we're on it right now, we have to kind of like climb because everything's like wobbling like this. We're going to, you know, of course, take the seat off, take, take all out. the old decking out, and we're going to move it to about right here. So basically another foot and some change. So we can move and we're gonna sink it lower, about three, four inches lower. And actually, we're gonna move the seat back to basically right here. This general area, we're gonna play that by ear, not confirmed exactly yet. But that way, by the whenever we get up here and we're fishing or whatever, we have room to move. Uh, we have room up front for whenever we do get a bow mount trolling motor. So we have old redneck anchors, right? This is basically some steel and concrete. And so we're gonna, for the time being, we're gonna keep this as is, but this oh. rope is not, near, this anchor rope is not nearly long enough. So what we did get, we got a hundred foot of some diamond braided rope and a quick link. So when we're not using the anchor, the anchor rope can be stored up under the deck or whatever we decide and figure out we're going to store everything we're also going to replace the tires yes. there's a good reason for that we'll show you right now <laughs> we're replacing these 30 year old tires they're right here all right and as you guys can see i'm gonna step across right here as you guys can see these things are pretty old and they're starting to dry rot right here like right around the rim here um this one's not that bad, but the other one is terrible. All right, guys, we're gonna get started here. All the wood out laying over there wasn't in that great of shape but uh we got it all pulled out we got a couple of holes we got to repair but uh yeah it looks pretty good uh a lot more room we can play around with and customize here but we're gonna get the, the uh, pressure washer and clean this out real quick and uh, we'll come back and show you guys what's going on Okay, so as you can see here, our audio is not working. Our microphone was off during this section of recording, but right here we are making some measurements and doing some cuts, uh, dry fitting some of our framing for the front and bottom portion of our casting deck and seating area in the front of the boat. All right, and this wraps up most of our work from day one. Stay tuned and we'll do a closing here and explain exactly what we're gonna get done the next day. All right, guys, that's going to be it for day one of the front deck rebuild. And we actually end the maiden voyage of the John boat 
On a big lake. On an actual lake, not in the pond. So this morning we went out, we got out about 6.30. Um, the wind was howling, it was terrible. Um, a lot of fun. Yeah, we, we were kind of, we didn't get to hit really any of the spots we wanted to because of how bad the wind was. Um, so we didn't catch anything, but we had a good time out trying to <laughs> finagle and it was just test run, just really a test was. run, trying to see everything. Um, we haven't installed the rod holders yet. Day one of phase two, phase one being bringing the boat out of the storage, cleaning it up, cleaning up the seats, getting it usable. Phase two, remove the front deck, lower it down. We're going to add in some new seat holsters. Uh, that way they're removable. That's day end of day one, phase two. We're going to hit the woods in the morning behind the house, get some hunting in. We'll be back at it around lunchtime tomorrow. See you guys later. y'all day two of phase two so we as you probably saw for the day before um we cut the beginning of our framework for our new deck right uh so we actually just got done screwing it in uh a little bit of a pain uh but we got the start of the base work done we're gonna go ahead and finish up the framework and hopefully get the permanent casting deck up here. We're gonna dry fit it, do a little dry run. Uh, we're not gonna attach the deck yet. Uh, we're gonna put it in, see how it looks, and then we're gonna pull it back out. And then we're gonna eventually get all the wiring for our front lights ran, our navigation lights ran, and go ahead and potentially dry fit and get the trolling motor wiring just ran, just so it's already in there, pre-installed so that we don't have to bring de the deck back out, make any more holes, that way it's already done. Deck in, screw it in, and it looks good. And no extra holes. Probably not getting to all of that today, but I, no. we, depending on time, we may get the front lights up today. All right, so let's go ahead and dry fit this. Oh. All right. Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> let's, let's go ahead and measure this. So it's supposed to be nine and three quarter and... Oh, well... <laughs> Does that look like nine and three quarter to y'all? The answer is no. No, it's not. All right, now that we actually cut it to nine and three quarters... Now I gotta angle this. Right, what we got here, bud? All right, we got her here, and oh, look at that. Whew. Look at that, that's party. That's party snug right there. Let's launch decals. Coming soon. <laughs> all right, you guys, we got the, the platform cut. Got all of our bracing, uh, for the most part, done. The template's cut anyway. Yeah, the, t the template, it's a rough fit, so we're gonna try it out and see how it goes. Yeah, it is, but I'd rather be too wide. Yeah, not wide enough. Hold up. Hold up. That's pretty dang close. Oh. I'm flush. I'm flush. I'm close enough. Carpal. Yep, look at that. All right, guys, on Sunday, unfortunately, we finished up the John Boat rebuild of the casting deck, but we were tired, we were hungry, we hadn't eaten all day. Matt still had an hour and a half drive home ahead of him. We didn't actually get much footage of the deck being installed and finished, uh, other than what was shown in the ending of the video. So if you did enjoy the video, there is gonna be more to come on this John Boat rebuild. Uh, we're gonna pick up more now that it's in a location that's easier for us to get to, as well as it cooling off outside. 
Uh, we're gonna have a lot more time here in the, in the winter and uh, the colder months to get this fixed up. Uh, so if you did like the video, there is going to be more coming ahead of the John Boat rebuild. So make sure to hit subscribe, like the video, uh, leave a comment, and go follow us on Instagram if you haven't already. It's Launch Outdoors. And thanks for watching, guys.